at a loss for words. I honestly, in a million years, would never have thought this was where my life would be a few years ago. But man, am I glad God had different plans. Looking back to 2015 on our first go-round, we were just kids, not ready for any type of future together. Our paths were not going in the same direction. We drifted apart and spoke occasionally. I watched your life change drastically as you became a father to an amazing little boy. My heart and head were so confused. I think secretly I did not understand how and why that would happen when all I wanted back then was a family with you. But you wanted other things. But God, he had plans for you and I had to learn that our lives weren't meant to be together at that moment. Years went by and I watched you and your life from a distance. I built my own and found peace and comfort in that. You see, I think we both needed that space from each other to realize that we needed each other. I promised myself that I would not let myself fall for you ever again, but then I got on a boat. Being around you brought back every emotion that I pushed down and tried to hide. I went home that night. We first met, we first saw each other again and cried. I cried from joy, confusion, and all of the above. I didn't know what to do. Do I run now and forget these feelings again, or do I try? Try to see this new Bailey, this dad that you have become. Boy, was I glad I stayed. Months went by, and we grew. We learned new things about each other. Our lives were both different, and we had to learn how to navigate those waters. We had been together a few months, and then on a day I thought I had strep, only to find out I had a little human growing in my tummy. There were so many emotions going on because I knew I loved you, but I still needed time with just you and Wilder. Time to see if this was my future. But then I realized, no, that you, Wilder, and this baby, y'all were my future. I knew we did things unconventionally, but that's okay. Asher wasn't an ex. He was our blessing from God. It took me a while to come to terms with our actions that got him here, but I couldn't be more excited. Yeah. I guess knowing your family was growing made you realize you wanted us with you always. Whatever your decision was to get done on one knee, I don't care because it gave me you as a husband, Wilder as a son, and Asher with a father and brother. I am beyond blessed with this family God has given me and will cherish it forever. So today, today I promise to you that I will love you with all of my heart, to love you in every aspect of life, to love you when you drive me nuts, to love you when you make me laugh, or even when you make me cry. I love you today, tomorrow, and always. And I wanted you to know that your ring symbolizes something special. It's not your average Amazon ring. Someone special wanted you to have this ring. It has history and a story of love that lasted until one was called to heaven. You will always carry a special place in Pop's heart, even while he is in heaven. But now you can carry him in your heart and on your hand as a symbol of our love and a future marriage, as strong as the love it once symbolizes. Love you, baby. Fast forward, you move in with me. The air season comes along, I beg you not to go hunting, because I was not feeling very well, but you had to make me go anyway. And of course, you killed the big six that day. Probably the best deer hunt I've ever been on. I've been on in years. But Taylor, you know, we have been through a lot. And some of my, you've been through some of my worst years with me. You was with me when I lost Uncle James. You was with me when I lost my papa. Even though we get to drive this Bronco tonight, I know my papa is watching over us. Thank you for being the best mom to Asher and stepmom to Wilder. And the best soon to be wife to me. We all love you more than you never know.
<laughs> what? Oh no, God. I can't keep crying. I'm not going to have any makeup left. Kate needs to stay all day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I think he's gonna cry. <laughs>
Bailey, we took Taylor to be your lawfully wedded wife, to live together after God's holy ordinances. Will you love her? Will you comfort her in the holiest estate of matrimony? Holy ordinances. Will you love him? Will you comfort him? Will you keep us and sing us in the hell, forsaking all others for as long as the others, for richer, for poor, and sickness in the hell, to love and to cherish till death do us part. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Then you're going to try to say that. Let me introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Bailey Murney.